This is the best method I've used for hair growth and lymph retention. Believe it or not, Marley twists are pretty easy for beginners. So now I'm gonna pass you over to Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. So if you want to see how I install these Marley <laughs> twists, carry on watching. <laughs> So guys, as Lauren mentioned, I'm going to be showing you how I grow my hair using the best method I know, which is Miley Twist. As you can see, my hair has grown out quite a bit. We're going to fix this up today. So what I'm going to do, guys, yes, got a lot going on. So predominantly, I've been wearing my hair up. I have not worn my hair down. I've been spritzing it at the roots, hence why it's so fluffy. And you can see the growth that I've got. But if you notice, guys, I made this extension look like it's my actual twist. And I'm going to be showing you how I done that today. I don't know if I'm going to be showing you the whole of my hair in its entirety today, in a sense of doing the whole twist today. I'm going to try my best to show you in detail how to do these Marley twists in this tutorial. But I usually like doing my Marley twists on stretched hair. However, my hair has been in these twists for about three weeks now. I've been spritzing my hair, but I haven't been taking them out of the extension and spritzing them, so I'm gonna definitely do that today. And then I'm gonna seal them in with hair grease, so carry on watching. So the extension here that I use, I've shown you this before for my braids, is the Lagos hair. And this one is in color T133. I used about two and a half packs of that, if that, because this is the size of the twist that I'm gonna have. You're also going to need brush, comb, and your sealant, i.e. my black dax. So I'm just going to comb out the strands now. So there you go, I've got lots of length. And I'm going to spritz it with my Cream of Nature Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. The thing I will say, guys, is when you do have your hair in a protective style, you're going to want to strengthen it. You're manipulating the hair either to twist or to braid. So you can see my hair is very damp. So I'm just going to quickly brush through that now. And then I'm going to seal it with my Kokotar hair grease. I'm gonna put it on my scalp, as I mentioned in my last video. And I'm gonna run it down a strand just to seal all of that in. So what I'm gonna to need to do now, guys, I'm gonna to need to split the hair. Some people like to split the hair this way, which I prefer, or some people like to split the hair this way. I don't know, I think it's just preference. So, take my extension hair, the middle of the extension hair, so it's level. The middle of the extension hair, I'm gonna hold on my scalp as taut as possible. Now what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's come away from the scalp, so I'm gonna twist the hair in, like so. I know it's twisted my skin, guys, it is not tight, I promise you. I'm gonna twist the hair as much as possible. Now the trick is, guys, I'm gonna need to stop talking because I need to hold this one with my mouth. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist them together like so. So if you didn't see that guys, I will not be talking. I will slow it down and I'll show you in the next twist, okay? As I'm twisting the hair, as you can see, I'm twisting the actual strands as I twist them around one another. So as you're twisting, it can get a bit tight. So I have seen a couple of YouTubers put a hair clip at the root so it doesn't twist too much, but it looks tight, but it's not actually tight for me personally. And it will start to unravel when I let go of the twist. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Therefore, I won't be using a clip. So I'm just gonna twist to the ends. And also guys, you can put your hair in hot water to seal them and to make the hair more flexible. However, I'm not interested in doing that only because I haven't worn my hair down in twists. I've literally just worn my hair up in a bun. So this is what I'm left with, as you can see. So now guys, as I said, the next one I'm gonna show you, I am not talking. I'm just gonna show you. So, and what I like about this guys, you can just literally unravel like that. So easy to install and so easy to take out. So I'm just gonna follow the same steps guys. I'm gonna spritz, seal, twist.
Okay guys, so I just wanted to say, I know it looks slightly complicated. However, there are methods that work for some, there are methods that don't work for some. Now there is an alternative method, which is the rubber band method. I started off trying the rubber band method and it proved to not be for me. Only because the way that the rubber bands are put in and then you have to kind of make a gap once the rubber band's in the hair, push your finger through your hair, pull the extension hair through that gap and then pull the rubber band up. I did actually try it and it wasn't for me. What I will say guys is there's more than one way to achieve this look. I'm just showing you a way that I found as a beginner to create this look and install these extensions and get these Marley twists. So if you are watching, you do get the hang of it, then hopefully I've helped. If not, then I'm sorry. As you can see, these ones are starting to look a little bit like dreads and don't get me wrong guys, I like the dread look. However, sometimes dreads do need to be retwisted. I actually like the more matured look of Marley Twist because I think it gives it character. Um, however, when they are neat, I do like them, but I think as they mature, start to look a bit messy. I like that look that I'm trying to portray here, you know? Anyway, so let me just carry on doing these ones. I'm only, as I said, guys, I'm only gonna show you the front ones. So hopefully that will be enough to get you on your way, you know? So I will be back to you and I will see you shortly so there you have it guys my marley twists are all nice and fresh what do you think i didn't completely do the whole back that's the honest truth i'll show you as you can see some of them still a bit bit hairy bit you know worn however i have tomorrow to complete that but the main part is i've done the front they look juicy they look nice i've got a, i've got a dress on guys i have anyway guys i hope it wasn't too confusing for you i hope you was able to follow it if not i Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!